Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am standing outside our new house right now. It is super exciting. We have got possession of the house on the 31st and have about two weeks to move in. Well, from the 31st. Today is the 5th and we are slowly going to be moving stuff in over the course of two weeks. We're officially moving in on the 11th and we did that on purpose because with two little ones, I can't even imagine doing it in one day. So anyhow, the house is empty right now. I came by to do some cleaning before we start to move stuff in tomorrow. Dimitri and his friends are gonna move in like all, everything basically that we can, that we don't need to use on a daily basis. And then next Saturday on the 11th is when we move all the furniture and officially move in. So before we move in, I wanted to show you guys what the house looks like completely empty before we move anything in and I actually did a poll on Instagram and a lot of you guys wanted to see it so here we are I'm just gonna show you guys why my hair looks as crazy as it does right now check out the frizz and this is why look at this dark gloomy and foggy day super super foggy but it's all good it is fall and it's beautiful with all the leaves so let's go on to the house tour so one of the first things that we really liked about this house in terms of the curb appeal is this cute little porch which is going to be awesome to put a few chairs and just hang out here maybe watch the kids you know bike around or whatever so as you come in and enter the house so here we are inside the house there's no really official entryway so this little area is kind of the entryway and then over on this side is the dining room and it is a good size i think it will be perfect for entertaining and love this big window over here so that's the front door obviously it's empty now and so i'll just give you a quick little overview as far as when you first walk in here are the stairs that take you to the second floor and then we'll just do a little walk so over on the right is a little powder room and i really like the wallpaper with wallpaper it's kind of like hit or miss but i actually really like this one it's you know sort of like a floral not floral like a yeah i guess floral motif which is nice neutral small little two-piece and this is the look this way and then in here is the closet which has some built-ins which will be good if you like to organize stuff, it's always helpful to have some, you know, like drawers and things like that. And obviously the hanging rod. And then over on the side, this door leads to an unfinished basement, which I won't be showing you guys because it's really nothing to see. It's just dark, unfinished. So the washer and dryer are downstairs. And then there's a ton of space for storage, which I'm so excited about. And then over this way, we're going to go into the main living area and kitchen but before we do that i'll show you over here there's lots of doors here which can be confusing i'm still getting used to what's what so in here is the garage i actually don't know where the light is so it's just you know just a basic garage and it's actually good because you have an entrance into the backyard or through the backyard to the um, garage I actually haven't even been that way yet <laughs> but yeah so that's the garage and then something that i am so excited about is this door over here Ta-da! it's a pantry you guys saw if you watched my video the ikea storage and stuff i actually never got it around to organizing any of my pantry items because andreas decided to come in early nine days early so i never got around to it and uh, now we have an actual pantry so i am so looking forward to organizing this and let me know if you want me to show you you know how i'm gonna do it what i'm gonna do and how i'm gonna organize i actually don't even know what i'm gonna do yet but i'm sure when i'm done it will be so nice to have everything organized and then as i turn around this way is of course the kitchen and i'll just do a little overview this way so you can see it better actually before i even talk about the kitchen what i love about this house is the finishes so the person that lived here i guess had really good taste because i really really love these floors they're oak wood i think and it's kind of like a distressed finish which is so beautiful and i like dark floors because i think they hide better or i don't even know it's not even about the the hiding i think they just to me i just like the contrast so yeah love the floors i remember when we first walked in i was like oh my god i absolutely love these floors i would have like chosen these myself and then yeah 
I like these lights in the kitchen here, so we won't be changing those. And then really like that there's a little breakfast bar kind of here. So what, what I wanted to say about the house in general is that it's basically, we wanted like a move-in ready house because we just don't have the time to um, do any changes with two little ones except for the kitchen. So we're gonna be switching out these countertops for a uh, different kind and I'm gonna show you once it's done what it looks like i'm excited to reveal that and we're just going to be changing out the sink and the faucet so those are really the only changes i think we're doing and then just like adding blinds upstairs besides that it's pretty much perfect and moving ready so i'll just show you guys the view this way i'm so excited and we really wanted to have the kitchen and living area like open concept so really really good love that so when i'm here which i spent basically my whole entire life in the kitchen now <laughs> Um, I can see, you know, everybody, I can see what the kids are doing, so it's perfect. And then, yeah, so the living area is over this way. There's the um, bay window over there. So when it's not a gloomy day like this, there's lots of natural light, which is always, always welcome. We love natural light. And, uh, you know, our sectional is going to go over here. Still deciding whether to put the TV on this wall or this wall. Obviously, it would be better on this wall as far as... Um, like because the, if the couch is here, it would be quite close to have the TV here But um, it would just be more uncomfortable. I think if it's here. I don't know. We haven't decided yet We're still sort of gonna figure it out as we go along and then over here You could I guess you could set up an Eden eating area But I think what we're gonna do is put like an office here and maybe a play area here so that the kids can have their store uh, toys There I don't know why I'm um, out of breath but um, yeah, I guess I was just like running up and down, just trying to get stuff in here, a few little things. And then yeah, over this way is the backyard. So I'll just show you guys. There's a hookup for the barbecue there. We're gonna bring in our barbecue. That's the old, um, the owner left hers. So the backyard is nothing special now, but we're super excited to have an actual base that we can do stuff with so we're super super excited in the springtime or like spring and summertime to plant you know a garden there in the back so that's gonna be super exciting and that's basically it for the main floor so now I'm gonna take you guys upstairs all right so now we're at the staircase that takes you all the way to the second floor so the reason we moved is actually because we needed an extra room for our new member of the family of course which is Andreas so as you come upstairs we're gonna i'm just gonna show you guys the overview that's basically the bedrooms there's a bathroom and the the uh you know the other room in here so i think what i'll do is i'll just go through you know left to right so over on the left would be andreas's room so it's a good size for a nursery just a, you know, a basic room with a closet, but so what we've done actually so far is paint all the bedrooms, the master bedroom and the two rooms. This room was actually fine. It was like a beigey color, but I just wanted to make it into a different color that I think would suit Andreas more. So it's hard to tell the color right now because it is, you know, tungsten light, indoor light. So it's hard to see the color, but you know, in a, on a nice, you know, bright day, you'll be able to see or tell the color better. So this, House is actually great for storage. Check out this closet. Each of the rooms has a walk-in closet, which is amazing. You can never have too much storage in my opinion. So that's wonderful. I'm super excited about. Over this way is Adriana's room. So it's a bit bigger than the nursery. And yeah, so we've, I've painted, we've painted here as well. So just do a little overview here. It was like a blue color in here before. And then also a closet in here, a walk-in closet. So I'll just show you guys like that. And such an unusual thing, I haven't seen this in a lot of houses before, is an actual window in the closet, which is great. And this is the view out of her room and into the master, which also has been painted. But before we go on to that, I'll show you in here is a linen closet. So again, love all the storage. And this will be the kids' bathroom. So just a basic bathroom, storage mirror, and of course the tub in here. And that's basically it for the bathroom. 
and then we're gonna enter into the master and one of the one of the other things that we loved about the master is that it has the double doors um, Dimitri was joking that that was like a must for him of course it's not but it, it's it's nice to have that it just feels a bit more grand so it's a good size master it will fit everything that we have and still feel roomy and then behind the door here is the walk-in closet so also love that it has the built-ins which again is going to make organizing better so we've decided that the left side will be mine and the right side will be Dimitri's he started to move in some of his stuff already so that's the closet and then yeah so the room just the basic room the um, what's it called the bed's gonna go over there of course and then we're getting blackout blinds for all the rooms just to make sure that everybody gets nice quality sleep rest and then the master bathrooms nice large island here not island countertop it's too bad there's no double sinks but maybe in the future we'll do you know a remodel and then another great thing about the master bathroom is that it has a nice roomy shower stand-up shower we prefer stand-up showers because really who has time for taking baths and there is a bathtub in the house so if somebody wants to take a bath you can do that and also i love that it has a glass door as opposed to you know having the shower curtain so and yeah and also love that it's natural light in here so that's basically it you guys this is the entire house tour minus the unfinished basement but there's really not much to see there except washer and dryer um so yeah thank you so much for watching and as i was just in the house now i was just reflecting about how you know fortunate and blessed we are to be able to call this wonderful beautiful place home soon and um yeah just feeling super super blessed so um, we're excited to move in and start to make memories here build our family and of course share our journey with you guys so thank you so much for tuning in i hope you're having a wonderful day i love you guys and i will see you in the next video actually let me know if you'd like to see a house tour like a finished house tour after we're not really changing much of the furniture we're just going to do a few little changes but um yeah let me know if you'd like to see that in the comments below hope you're having a wonderful day and i will see you in the next video i gotta go and clean now bye